Hello everyone, a greeting in the name of God Almighty. My name is supposed to Newton Silas and I'm here with Nancy Grace. And today we'll be reacting to the death of the greatest man, that is Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. I believe that this is going to be a very interesting one. I didn't really know how he died. You no, know, somebody was talking about he was sick. But then let's just get down to the video, you know, and get to understand how Prophet um, Muhammad um, died. So, guys, if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So, guys, before we get out to the video, I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's religion. This is basically for educational purposes and I believe that you are going to learn from it. So, guys, as we get down to the video, we are going to learn how Prophet Muhammad died May peace be upon him. So guys, let's check this. فَإِنَّهُ مَنْ كَانَ يَعْبُدُ مُحَمَّدًا فَإِنَّ مُحَمَّدًا قَدْ مَاتْ وَمَنْ كَانَ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ حَيٌّ لَا يَمُوتُ أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قد خلت من قبله الرسل أفإن مات أو قتل انقلبتم على أعقابكم ومن ينقلب على عقبيه فلن يضر الله شيئا وسيجزي الله الشاكرين إنك ميت وإنهم ميت Thursday comes, Thursday comes, Thursday began a very, very powerful and different transition also in the last moments of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and of course the Monday, Thursday and Monday. Nothing happens in his life with coincidence. And he, as you all know, used to fast every Thursday and every Monday. I, in the depth of my heart, know it was not coincidence. This, this must have some link with it. In addition to what he told us, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam. On that Thursday, during his illness, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam, he continued in his most beautiful, spiritual, splendid bravery, continued to lead Salah. Salah. The last Salah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was on Thursday night the Maghrib Salah for the last surah he recited in the Quran in Salah the most beloved act to Allah and to his Rasul was Al-Mursalat Wal-Mursalat Urfa those that are sent the angels By the time of Isha, he could not move. And when he could not move, it is like 10 men together could not move. He could not move. And he lost consciousness. He woke up for a moment. And the first thing he said, Asallanas. The first thing he said, 
Asalla nas Did people perform their salah? Ha Isha Our mother In whose presence he died She said La ya Rasulallah Fa innahum fi intizarik No ya Rasulallah They are still awaiting for you They have hope said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bring me al makhzab this big vessel with water cool fresh water he entered inside of it and he refreshed himself and bathed and got out to get some strength and as he stood up to walk to inside the masjid he fell and he lost consciousness He wakes up a while later. The first thing he says, Asalla nas? Asalla nas? Asalla nas? La ya Rasulallah hum fi intidharik. He tries that again washes and tries to get up and he can't and he falls thrice asallanas finally he appointed Abu Bakr radiyallahu ta'ala to lead salatul isha and Abu Bakr as-siddiq led salatul isha of Thursday night and the Fajr Salah of Monday and three days in between the scholars say about 17 Salawat were led by Abu Bakr in the presence of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam and that means a lot for those who think and reflect day later of what is recorded of his noble sayings was this he said ala la yamutu ahadun minkum illa wa huwa yuhsinu dhanna billah let none of you die when the time of his or her death comes except that he or she should be in a state of high hopes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A day later, he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, whatever was, has remained in his frugal house, he gave away. He freed all those who served him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. He had six dinar left. He gave that all away. None of that was remaining. He gave everything. He had left nothing much. Aisha needed oil for the lamp radiallahu ta'ala anha that night and she didn't have oil for the lamp that night she went and borrowed some from some of the neighbors to light the lamp in the room of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam I know my mother your heart was illuminated by the presence of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.
the next day, the day before he passed away, he left again this wasi. Again, قَاتَلَ اللَّهُ الْيَهُودُ وَالنَّصَارَى اتَّخَذُوا قُبُورَ أَنْبِيَائِهِمْ مَسَاجِدٍ Again, he emphasized that his grave is not to be a place of worship. Al-Islam, Al-Islam. The purity of that deen is from there, it will remain there, it will be there, it is intended to be there. وَإِنَّ الدِّينَ لَا يَأْرُزُ إِلَى الْجَزِيرَةِ وفي رواية إلى المدينة وفي رواية إلى مكة والمدينة كما تأرز الحية إلى جحرها The purity of the deen will always be there ultimately And in those last moments he said الصلاة الصلاة وما ملكت أيمانكم الصلاة الصلاة وما ملكت أيمانكم الصلاة الصلاة وما ملكت أيمانكم Your Rasul leaves you with these last words الصلاة الصلاة The summary of all his teachings was, it seemed, in this. The purity of the deen in Jazirat al-Arab in particular. And as-salah, as-salah, my brother, my sister. وَمَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُكُمْ And those whom your right hand possesses. Monday morning Fajr time Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala is the imam of the believers suddenly suddenly the curtain opens from the private quarters of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha and that door opened directly into the masjid in the front rows of the masjid the curtain is open and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is standing at that door Seeing Abu Bakr radiallahu an leading his ummah in salah. The last sight from this dunya of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam was his ummah in salah. His ummah united in salah. That was the last sight of his ummah. They were so elated, so happy. قال أنس كادوا يفتتنون في صلاتهم فرحا برسول الله. Out of joy, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now is healed. They thought he came to lead us again. No, he did not. When he looked at them, he smiled. Tabassama wa He smiled. And then he closed the curtain. And 
went back. Until Doha time. His beautiful, in every way, daughter Fatima, alayha salam wa radiyallahu anha, came to him and he called her and whispered a few words in her ears and she wept. And he called her again and he whispered a few words in her noble ears and she smiled. <laughs> Later she, knew she was to say that the first few words he whispered into my ears were I will die. She wept. The next words he whispered in her ears were, you will be the first one of my household to join me. She smiled. And yes, six months later, she joined him. last, very last seconds or minutes. Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhuma enters the private quarters of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And he's laying in the arms of Aisha against her noble chest. And Abu Ba'an Abdul Rahman was carrying a miswak. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Aisha who read, who read with her eyes of her head and her eyes of her heart every move external and internal of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it seems she said I knew as he looked at Abdul Rahman, that he perhaps wanted siwak. At that moment, Ya Rasulullah, at that moment, she said, I told him, would you like the siwak, Ya Rasulullah? He moved his head, yes. She took it from him and and then she never forgot this to be one of her most special privileges with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قالت اختلط ريقي بريقه عند موته. My saliva mixed with his at the moment of his death. For she said to him as the siwak was hard, she said, shall I soften it for you? He moved his head, yes. She took it in her noble sweet mouth and softened it. Softened it and gave it to him and he took it in his mouth. And right after that, eyes and said moved his sweet lips and Aisha said he said مع الذين أنعمت عليهم من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين 
اللهم اغفر لي وارحمني اللهم الرفيق الأعلى اللهم الرفيق الأعلى اللهم الرفيق الأعلى With those whom you graced from among the Nabiyeen and the Muqarrabeen and the Shuhda and the Salihin. O oh Allah, forgive me. O oh Allah, grant me rahmah. of the Most High. O oh Allah, the company of the Most High. O oh Allah, the company of the Most High. I love you, Rasul. Oh, this is a very hard touching story on how the greatest man on earth died. That is our um, Prophet um, Muhammad. May peace be upon him. This video was just very, very detailed, but at the same time, it makes me very, very emotional. Some of the last words he had some of the things he does, the salah he do lead, the prayers, you know, the word he whispered to his daughter, Aisha, and his companion, and the passion he was seeing from Abu Bakr, the Imam, how he was actually leading the prayers, even before his very eyes, seeing people trying to replicate what he has taught them. It was just so, so, so much touching. Even him himself was just touched in a stand by those words. It was just very emotional. I just, you understand, run out of words how to describe, you understand, that feeling at that moment. You know, it's very sad, you know, actually losing someone that you love, somebody so daring, somebody who is actually leading you and direct you to a particular path, a path that will lead to salvation. You know, it was just a very touching one. You know, when you're hearing them talking about uh, masjid, masjid actually means the mocks. That's what they call in the mocks, you understand, in our present day. So when you hear masjid or mocks, just know that they all mean the same thing. It was just very touching, and I was just so much move you know by this um video truly i was just so much um move but before then let's hear from nancy grace because i don't know i'm just feeling as you just by you know like oh i was just moved you know by this um video but then let me just hear from you because seriously i'm just moved by how he died some of the last words you know Let's just hear from you. I don't know. It's filled. It's very, very sad seeing someone, seeing a leader, someone seeing a leader 
as a father or a true warrior who is so compassionate and caring is very, very sad, you know, being for people that was around him, watching him or seeing him like died. Past, died. Honestly, I just feel like while I was watching it, I was just feeling as if I was there. So I was just feeling it honestly. He he is indeed a great prophet, a great warrior. Actually, we have watched the legacy of the prophet, the messenger of God, may peace be upon him. He has done a lot. He has changed humanity. He has changed the course in which innocent things, innocent way, have been done before. And then, um, just like the way the video started, you got to realize that he was a messenger of God and he is not God, which means people don't worship him. Okay, yeah, but he was just, you understand, a messenger of God, sending messages to people about what God, you understand, want his people to do. I so much love this video, and it was a very interesting one. So guys, this is the end of our video. If you like our reaction, you should like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any video you want us to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section, and we're gonna check it out. So guys, remember,